Hello, welcome back to the Edible Garden Company on this glorious morning. Even though it's the afternoon, it was the morning when we started doing this. So we just wanted to give you an update on what we're doing with the beds. Um, and we've really cracked on with it. Well, thanks to Dan, he's been working on this all week, bless him. So I just want to show you what our beds were like when we started this. Our beds used to run from the top here, down the hill. And the problem that we were having was that we have our water is at the top of the field in IBCs and we have a pipe coming down to our irrigation system and we were using soaker hoses and the problem with that is that all the pressure is at the bottom of the hill so the water was coming out of the bottom of the, the pressure uh, the soaker hoses and nothing was getting to the top so what we've decided to do is a really permaculture thing is we've actually turned everything around and we've made swales so basically We've used an A-frame to level the, the ground so that all of our beds are perfectly level, or they will be when we tidy them up. They're going to be perfectly level from one side to the other side so that when we have our, our soaker hoses running along the beds this way, they, they'll be perfectly level so the, the pressure, water pressure inside the pipe will be evenly distributed all along the pipe. Okay, so if we show you the beds from this angle, and you can see hopefully that they're they're fairly level at the moment although they are covered in soil but the beds themselves are actually fairly level um, so each one of the beds will have soaker hoses running along it and we'll have a main header pipe going down that side of the beds which will feed each one of the pipes coming this way and we'll have them set individually on valves so we can switch the beds on and off as we want to which means if we want to water this bed here, for example, we can switch all the others off, which means all the water pressure coming down from the IBCs is just coming to this bed. The other thing is when it rains, the water naturally runs down the hill and we lose most of it straight down into the Towie Valley. Um, but what's going to happen now is as the water comes down the hill, it hits each of the swales and then it will slowly sink into the ground and then come out at the next swale, the next swale, and it'll slowly work its way down. And that does two things. One is it slows down the runoff of water, and it helps retain water, but it also stops runoff of soil and nutrients, because the, the water is actually sinking into the ground rather than running across it and taking the soil away with it. Okay, so here we are on the other side of the beds, because it's, we can actually get a better view of the beds from this side, I think. Um, one of the things we wanted to show you was some of the soil that we've taken off the surface we've actually put up as these mounds, these banks around the edges and this is going to do a couple of things. One is it's going to be a good shelter for more tender plants, hopefully it's going to act as a bit of a windbreak but we also, we're going to plant these up with, I don't know, rhubarb or fruits or whatever and we, because we have two sides, we have a shaded side, we have a sunny side They'll also be fairly dry as well, so any plants that don't like standing in water, we can plant on these. It just gives us another aspect to grow in. So if we just wander up this way, just so you can see the beds and how they're going to how they're going to be worked. So if I show you what we've got here, so this area here, this will actually be a bed and a path. All of our beds are 75 centimetres or 30 inches wide and then we have a path of about 40 centimetres. So we're having the path up against the step down, which that'll do a couple of things. One is it means we're not walking on the edge of the, the bed and, and collapsing it this way. But also as the bed's going to be higher when we're actually working on the beds, it's at a, a nicer height to work at. So this will be a path that will be a bed and then we'll have a path and a bed and a path and a bed and that'll work all the way down. These mounds will actually be flattened out so we won't have the, the big dips and the big mounds but what will happen over time is as we put more compost on um, we, we, the beds will naturally raise and become slightly raised beds but we won't actually have raised beds as such only what happens naturally. So that's it for now, we just wanted to let you know what we're doing, what we're up to. Um, this is going to change 
quickly we're hoping to get the top bed planted up this week if we can although we've been told that there's a cold spell coming so we might put it off another week so there should be another part of this coming soon and we'll keep you updated every time we get a bed done we'll tell you what we're planting why we're planting it where we're planting it and we'll speak to you soon doing take it.